Hello everyone. Time to see if I can pick some Blue Galeris eggs. This is a five gallon tank. It had a trio of the Blue Galeris Niger Delta in it. I've moved the fish to a new tank, taken the mops out, taken all the plants out, and netted out the clumps of uh, peat that were in here. So now I'm down to half a tank of water, the sand gravel mixture, and hopefully some eggs. So. We're going to be doing the old figure eight routine here and see if we can come up with some eggs. So, just a quick figure eight. Get your hand underneath real quick. And now to see if I can show you. There's an egg right there on the end of my, by my finger. There's another egg, another egg. Here's a whole string of them right here. Let's see if we can get this. There's one, there's one, there, there, there. So we're going to place these. I have this little container of water that I'm going to pick the eggs out to put in. And then I will place them on. Let's see if that'll focus. There's a good number of eggs there. No little bodies inside but they're not clear so they've started to do a little bit of developing. Uh, the Niger Deltas I've worked for several years to to come up with some that were actually the Niger Deltas and finally found some up in Wisconsin that I've been very happy with and just starting to get a good number of eggs from them. So let's go back in and see if we can get some more. And another big batch of eggs in there. I'll shine a little extra light on there. I'm going to give these a this little container of water that I have with the eggs. I'm going to put a drop of bleach in. Try and make sure I got everything nasty killed off in there. And then I will put them either on peat or a mop and dry them for about a month. Helps if you stir this up some, get the eggs up and moving around. Then do a fresh batch of figure eights. Oh yes. Let's see how we do here. Then here's just a whole little mass of them here at the end. So I'm just going to take this whole little, little piece of plant material. Wow, the stirring up really worked. Oh, boy. Got to be 10 eggs there. You get some little pieces of the sand in here this way. I really don't like sand on the bottom, but I have trouble getting the, the type of gravel that I want, so I end up having to take gravel that's a little bigger than I want, and I mix it with sand. Plus, half the time these tanks will have catfish in them, and they really want the sand, so... I kind of compromise and do half sand, half gravel. And it's the smallest gravel I can find. It always has to be some kind of like river rock out of Alabama, I think, is always the good stuff that I find. Never found it in a PetSmart. I know when I go up north, up in Michigan, Illinois, in that area, what you guys just have is sand, is that multicolored stuff? Wow, that stuff is fabulous. So, I'm going to keep picking these eggs, and when I get done, I'll show you what my container looks like. All right, here's my container, and there you can see a bunch of eggs. A bunch of eggs in there. There's that little piece of plant material. I'm going to come around. You can see there are there's some more eggs, but here is the real horde of eggs. 
So I'm going to run these back through my brine shrimp net to get the water out and dry them. And then I'll put them on some peat. Stick them in a bag in the dark for a month. Be ready to hatch them and get myself a nice big batch of the Niger Delta Blue Galeris Fry. So there's how easy it is to do. Thank you for watching.